Hey guys, uh, good morning. It is Saturday, uh, December 1st, um, so tis the season. And um, welcome back to the World's Worst Fishing. I'm Chris Jones. And today we're going to, um, we're gonna explore some custom creation ideas. Um, I've got this kind of black and gray and orange fluke color idea in my head, I don't know. So we're gonna see if I can realize it and we'll see if it looks good. But um, it's, uh, it's, it's good to be back. I haven't done a video in a little over a week and a half. I've been, I basically got really sick on Thanksgiving day and um, just laid on my back for like 72 hours after that, barely got into work Monday morning after Thanksgiving. So um, anyway, I, I haven't made very many baits lately, um, but I'll show you what I have been working on. I've had to do some orders and, uh, and then we'll do today's video. Um, so anyway, um, good to be back. Thanks for tuning in. Shoot me a comment down below after the video. Let me know what you think. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So after the uh, popularity of the uh, Bloodline swim bait video, which has a little over 9,000 views already. So thank you everyone. That's an incredible um, response. Um, so after that video, I've actually gotten some orders for this bait. And uh, so you see, I have some of them here. I've done another color. This is like a, um, it's basically just like a, the, the, the customer wanted me to come up with a bluegill color of my choice. So it's kind of like a red belly or an orange belly bluegill sunfish. I don't know. Um, it's definitely a brim color in my book. It's kind of similar to a <clears throat> solid color that I make called Seminole Gold. And we have some tilapia grass grenades. We have some pearl white. Uh, zags and then some black frogs and I actually have to make a lot more stuff that's just what I've been able to do this week um, I didn't have very much time to pour this week but this weekend I do uh, so I'm hopefully gonna get all my orders done and then obviously get this video made so um, anyway we're going to proceed with the video um, right after this though so I've got to get a quick shout out um, to follow the action outdoors. Um, I was contacted by these guys um, earlier this week and uh, they have some really cool fishing apparel. So they, they hooked me up with a little gift set, <clears throat> uh, so to speak, Christmas come early. So, uh, I mean, just look at how well this t-shirt is packaged. You know, it, it's like a shirt with a coffee mug, um, kind of like a, 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 a little set there nice hog hunter hat because uh that's what we're all trying to do is hunt hunt big bass and matching koozie and matching hoodie they have um quite a bit of stuff you know they have everything for the outdoorsman they have deer hunting waterfowl um you know musky smallies crappie tarpon um yeah so it's a pretty cool it's a pretty cool little uh a little cool. Uh, I can't even talk this morning. It's a really cool apparel idea that they have um, right now They are Strictly apparel, but um, the owner said that they were going to expand their market into uh, Into maybe some tackle items and uh, who knows what else so they've done a really professional job getting their catalog together and uh, You know what? It's actually a little bit chilly out. So I'm about to throw on this hoodie Yeah, much much better right there. It feels good out and um, it's a little early in the morning, but I don't care. I'm going to test out the uh, foam koozie here. So uh, we'll, we'll be getting into this a little later. But um, anyway, that's enough hoopla. We're going to jump into the baits. Okay, so we have um, a lot going on here. Well, I think we have a lot going on here. So I want to do one side. Um, so I... I'm thinking maybe like the top of this fluke is just going to be solid black. So we're just going to do one and um, about 40 to 50 drops of black. Um, 
Her measuring cup is okay. This is actually a little bit less than a measuring cup. This is about three quarters because I just, I don't really need to measure out a full measuring cup um, just to demonstrate a color on a couple of flukes. So we're going to um, load it up, but you know, if you want to just count all your drops to be careful, 40 to 50 does a really good job. Um, you know, and then of course you can um, go super overboard um, if you please. Okay, and then the other side, I want it to be charcoal, but a very light charcoal at that. So I'm gonna do like maybe three drops total, all right, of black in there. And then I want the tails to be bright orange. I mean, just contrast city. Um, so we're just gonna use a little bit of Lureworks Orange here. And um, I don't really know how much of this I need, but I want it to be very, very, very bright. And um, this is one of those lighter colors that um, is very translucent, so you have to put a lot of it in there to get it thick, kind of like chartreuse. You know, depending on what type of chartreuse you get, I know Lureworks makes maybe uh, three chartreuse colors. Some are gonna remain see-through no matter how much you put in, and then some are gonna be like, boom, super thick, you can't see through it. Um, I prefer the more see-through stuff. I think it's just a lot more versatile. Um, so anyway, we're gonna mix this up. <clears throat> Looking good there. And uh, let's see. Doesn't really matter if I mix a little orange in with the thick black side, because the black's gonna overpower it. Looking good there. And then we'll mix up our charcoal, which is, yeah, basically that. So um, that's what we're gonna do. And um, let's see, today I'm actually using some of my uh, Lureworks Porosol. And um, so I'll have to put these in the uh, vacuum chamber to get the air out. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then we'll cook them up. And um, let's see, actually, before I forget, these need a little bit of heat stabilizer. And uh, again, um, heat stabilizer is never a bad idea. If you're using the uh, dead-on plastics, you kind of don't need heat stabilizer. I mean, I've yet to burn the dead-on plastics to the point to where I wish I had heat stabilizer in it. Um, you know, I've, I've burned it up, remelting some that I got over 400 degrees by accident. Um, but that's just my fault, you know, that's not, you can't really blame the plastisol for, burn, for burning when you're remelting it at 400 degrees. Um, in normal use, you don't need heat stabilizer. This stuff, however, um, you definitely need it, and, uh, and I think a lot of plastisols, it's a good idea to use it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get these cooked up, and we will meet you back. And for those of you that might be new to my channel, I haven't used my vacuum chamber in a while, because I've been using the dead-on plastics, and, um, it really um, doesn't bubble at all. Um, but this right here is to prevent bubbles and micro bubbles in your plastic. Um, so depending on what type of plastic you use, or um, if you have good plastic, but it's gotten bubbles in it because of moisture or something else or over stirring, um, you can use one of these, um, just a little single stage vacuum pump. And um, so basically you just set them in there and you're literally just going to remove the air from the pot and by default also the plastisol so you'll see this little needle going up and uh, once it gets to negative 30 inches of mercury then there's no air left in the pot and then your plastisol should be bubbleless um, so that's um that's a really good thing to do if you're having bubble problems with your plastic you can pick one of these up for i think about 200 dollars, maybe a little less um, baitplastics.com actually sells one of these huh, along with all their lure making stuff so um, if not you can find these on eBay you can pick out whichever one you want that works best for you and um, it's a good tool to have it's a good backup tool to have um, even if your plastisol doesn't normally give you bubble problems there comes the day when you're gonna get moisture in it and it's gonna be a pain so um, not a bad not a bad investment if you think you're gonna be making plastics um, for the long run. Okay, it's time for some orange. So we're gonna go ahead and inject these, uh, whoops, uh, 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 inject these fluke molds with some orange. And then we're going to basically do what we do with any split color. We're gonna leave the orange tails in the molds and then we'll shoot the final two colors 
on top of them after the fact. So that's what we have there. And um, I think that's going to look really good. Now we're going to look at the other two colors and uh, see what we're going to do with those. Okay, scratch that idea. We're actually going to um, prepare the uh, fluke molds first. Well, we're actually, well, we're going to prepare the tails first. So we're just going to clip these tails off. All right, well, that one didn't work. Okay, going to do that one. And that one. And that's all we're going to do. So, I mean, we're just going to leave these little, oops, these little fork tails in the molds. Just get them in there. All right, got that one. Looking good. Come on, baby. All right, almost had that one. There we go. Okay, that one's in there. And last but not least, this one back here. Being a little stubborn, come on. Come on, there we go, okay. Now, we're going to shut the molds and um, I have to do this for all three. Oh, had that backwards. All right. Now we're gonna go ahead and look at those other two colors. Okay, so the dark black side is just gonna remain dark black. Um, the gray side, we're gonna do a couple things to it. So we're gonna put some, whoop, hit the camera. We're gonna put some medium black flake in it, just a smidge. Okay. All right. And then I wanna add some texture and color. Let me uh, clean this off real quick. All right. There was uh, some glitter still stuck to it. I wanna add some color and texture, so we're gonna do some 0 0.015, that's the common small size. We're gonna do some of that in blue, but not too much. So this is a quarter teaspoon. We're gonna do half of that, so an eighth of a teaspoon of that little blue. Okay. Then we're gonna do the same thing with uh, medium gold. This is 0 0.035 gold hex flake. All right. So we're gonna do little about an eighth of a teaspoon of that. And then we're going to add some uh, mega texture, so to speak. This is point, this is big square cut silver. Um, so we're just gonna add enough of this to add some texture, okay? And um, hopefully that'll look good. I might need to put like a a red or something in there. I don't know. Let's let's stir this in and, and see what we get. So that's what we're working with. I kind of like that. Yeah, I kind of like that a lot. That with that orange tail, it's going to look interesting. So I think we're going to keep that. Okay, so um, this mold, top side, bottom side, this is actually a new fluke mold. So we have our top side over here. Excuse me, I have it backwards. The top side is going to be the flat black. The bottom side is going to be the side with the flake in it. So they're, they're at an even temperature, about 340 degrees. Okay. So here we go. We'll see what we get. Hopefully we get something decent. Because I've, uh, you know, spent the last half hour 40 minutes working on these okay all right looking good there that that feels like a really really good shoot and um, you know it's important to have your temperatures even when you're doing laminates um, it's also important to have the temperatures relatively low um, a lower even temperature uh, makes the best laminates when they're really hot Even if they're even they're gonna mix a little more because the plastic flows freer um, You know, it's it's just more uh, I don't really know the correct terminology, but you know the hotter the plastic is It it flows quicker so to speak. It's it's more thin 
uh, it's thinner, so it's going to mix more. But when you shoot nice, even lower temperature laminates, usually you get a better laminate. We'll see if that theory holds true today. Some days it just doesn't happen. But uh, hopefully these will look good, um, and uh, we'll know in just a few moments. Oh, you know what? Drum roll. Hold on. Stand by. Let's see if we got anything good. Oh, they're on that side. Ooh, okay. So from the top, we have a black and orange. Let's see how the laminate did. Hey, hey, hey. Pretty cool. In fact, the black seemed to kind of overtake the orange. I mean, excuse me. The black seemed to kind of overtake the other black side. Um, we'll see if that's true with, with, uh, with the other molds. I tell you though, I really liked the idea there. That's um, that's actually exactly kind of how I wanted it to look. Um, I guess all my uh, preaching about laminates wasn't even true, so disregard that. No, I'm just kidding. I actually did a whole video on on laminates and and uh, how to get a good one. So um, you know, I guess I just had the black side a little too. Um, hot you know they were actually fairly even when I took them out of the microwave and took the temperature but uh, maybe one cooled down quicker than the other not sure um, but we're gonna look at the rest of the molds and see what we have but uh, that's the best one from that side and um, I think it's pretty cool okay so there are the uh, best six of them and uh, it's not that the other ones weren't good they just didn't laminate as well as these um, so that is, whoops, Let me try to get some close-ups here. What do you think of the, uh, orange tails? I think it's pretty cool. Oh, M. Night Shyamalan twist. We have some other baits. So we, um, did the Bloodline swim bait because you gotta play with your new mold, folks. Um, we did some trick worms, some savvy worms, because that's just too good of a color to not make in a worm. And then we, of course, have the uh, flukes from the majority of the video. So I think that's a uh, pretty cool spread. What do you guys think? How would you make this color? How would you do it differently? Um, do you even like the color? Do you love the color? Um, do you dislike the color? So shoot me a comment down below. Let me know. I think um, I think it's pretty pretty awesome. I would definitely, definitely throw that worm and, uh, you know, I'd throw all of these, to be honest, but um, I'm a sucker for a pretty bait, so there's hardly anything I won't throw. Well, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed today's video. That's going to wrap it up. Um, pretty cool color. I've never made anything like it, and, um, you know, just that, that bloodline bait really allows me to make some cool stuff that I've never done. And, um, you know, I, I always am looking for new flute colors. Um, because I think there's a lot of, of uh, uncharted territory in the fluke world. Um, I think there's a lot more that can be done with them. You know, I mean, if you look at some of the top soft plastic guys in the, um, you know, private community, um, I mean, just we're all doing, well, I say we, they are all doing just incredible things with swim baits. Swim baits are just leading the pack as far as color innovation, and uh, I think we can do the same thing with flukes, you know, with worms, um, almost with everything. But, you know, I, uh, I definitely don't want to leave the flukes out and just focus on swim baits. You know, I want, I want to try to be innovative and creative with every bait I have. But um, anyway, so that's today's color creation. Um, be on the lookout soon, guys, for another complete guide to getting started with soft plastics. Um, I have... A video up already called uh, I think it's called like the complete guide to getting started with plastics um, I'm gonna update that and make a new one that one's a little dated now so we're gonna make a new version with uh, with a little bit of new information and um, hopefully it will be um, the video that just really just cuts that learning curve in half and it can take somebody from total beginner to not a beginner you know they 25 30 minutes they can go from not knowing where to start to 
confident that they can make their first bait. So um, I'm going to be doing another complete guide to getting started. So uh, be on the lookout for that soon. I'm going to start filming this week and um, hopefully that one's going to turn out good. So that's going to wrap it up today. Um, hope you enjoyed this color. Shoot me a comment down below. And uh, of course, as always, thank you guys so much for watching.